Hi guys, Otto from Tron.com with a new motor today. The Somfy Oximo 40 IO Wirefree. So it's a motor for solar operated roller shutters and it's a very interesting one. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so some of you have had RTS motors before for solar, but not an I.O. And because they're really focusing on I.O. motors as the future for radio communication, an I.O. Mo motor was all that was missing. And now we have one, so it's really interesting. And it was also time, of course, because Alera already had something like that with feedback, uh, because that's what I.O. offers um, as a benefit compared to RTS. We'll go into the practical benefits of I.O. later on, but first let's have a look at the discerning feature of the Oximo I.O. motor compared to the RTS one, and that's this long antenna. Some of you have had a very clever way of incorporating the antenna in the motors, which is by using the power cord as the antenna. And it makes for a really nice and clean installation. With this IO motor, that has not been possible. So you have a fairly long antenna, which is 32 centimeters. And the disadvantage of that antenna is that it needs to be placed outside of the housing. So when you have your roller shutter housing, it needs to be on the outside, so it will be visible. Of course, at a distance, it won't be visible unless you have hawk eyes. But when you come close, there is clearly an antenna there. And that's a bit of a disadvantage because it doesn't look great. Now, a thing that has to do with the length of the antenna and the way it's been incorporated into this motor with um, the constant communication that needs to take place. So the motor has to wake up, for example, on a signal and um, it has to give feedback as well. And that's compared to RTS where the motor can only receive a signal and not send something back. And of course, some people want to have a certain amount of days that the motor can work on the capacity of the battery, which is probably why they need this antenna. But it's a little bit of speculation, of course. Now let's look at the range of motors. What do we have available? There's a three Nm version, a six Nm version, version and a 10 newton meter version. That's the official availability. Practice this means that there's only a 6 and a 10 newton meters because apparently the 3 newton meter version is not available. Now there's a difference in torque of course but there's also a difference in rotating speed. So the speed with which the motor turns and the difference between let's look at the 6 and the um, 10. At 6 newton meters the rotational speed is 18 rounds per minute and at 10 it's only 12. So it goes from quite fast to a little bit slower so that's something to keep in mind. So if you have two roller shutters which are similar in height but have different motors because of the width and the weight of the roller shutter it can happen that one closes quicker than the other now when we look at one of the technical details of this motor it's um, it's in the 40 series which means that this tube is 35 millimeters in diameter and it makes it suitable for 40 millimeter octagonal tubes so that's what the motor can can work with of course you can use adapters that's a set like this and that makes the motor suitable for wider tubes, so the 50 and the 60 millimeter octagonal shapes. Of course, you still need the crown and drive in addition to this little set, but that's something to keep in mind. So it will fit a 40 millimeter tube. But there's one thing to keep in mind if you are renovating your shutter. So if you're replacing your manual system with a motor, because if you have a tube with the seam on the inside, then you need to replace it with a seam on the outside. So you need to replace the tubes because otherwise there's not enough space inside of the tube and that will cause damage when the motor starts turning. And when you get this sort of damage, then it voids your warranty. So that's something you want to keep in mind because you don't want to void the warranty just because the tube was too small. So like I said, we have an IO motor here. So that means that all IO controls are suitable for this motor. So you can connect any IO remote control. Now in practice, what does this mean? It means that you can choose, for example, a wall mounted smooth origin IO. That's a really common choice because you can wall mount it and control. You can control one or a combination of multiple shutters that you operate at once. So one or a group of, of shutters that you can control from just this device. If you want to have a more portable solution, you can go to Situo uh, one IO. And again, that can control just one motor or a group of motors. And if you have more than one motor and you want to control them separately, then you have the Situo 5 IO. And that gives you five channels. So that means you have, can have, for example, four individual controls and one group control on channel five. That's a really uh, common way of using that remote control. But you can also assign five individual motors. Now the real value from IO comes from this one from the Tahoma switch. Because of course, then you can see the feedback. The switch allows you to uh, operate your motors from an app. And in the app, you can see multiple things. First of all, you can see the battery status. And that's really helpful because you can see how full the battery still is. That's of course a concern, for example, in winter. Normally in the summer, you won't have any issues with your battery. But if you've had a few dark days, 
and you want to check to see what the battery level is, you can do that from the app. Another thing you can see in the app is the status of the motor, where it is, how far it's open, and which position it's in. So that's really helpful as well. And there's another uh, additional feature that's setting the my position. That's a preferred position that is between the upper and the lower limit, and you can freely set that, and then, for example, assign a scenario where it automatically goes halfway. And you can set that a position from the app instead of from a remote control, and that's really convenient. Now another thing that's important, of course, is the price. And the motors aren't cheap, I'll tell you that. A set of the 10 Nm motor with a solar panel and a battery is $419.95. The 6 Nm mo motor version, um, so with the same parts except for the motor with a 6 Nm amount of torque, um, is €409.95, and that includes VAT. Now the price is um, partly because of this battery, it is actually an outdoor housing, so that's really convenient when you're uh, renovating your royal shutters, because that means you can leave it in the rain. So that's very good. Um, I've done a video about this uh, this battery before, so you can see that. I'll link to that in the description. But that also explains the price of uh, the whole kit, because this makes it a little bit more expensive. But still, it's not a cheap solution, because if you can compare it to Alero, it's 100 euros less for the 10 Nm version. So that's quite a significant difference. Um, the same goes for if you use an Oximo I.O. from the 50 range. That is a wired solution in the sense that you do need to connect it to mains power. It is remote control and I.O. But there again, um, you have a motor for half the price. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. The initial purchase price, of course, for the equipment is high, but it's more convenient. So when you look at the complete picture and you take the installation cost into account, then of course this is a good solution because you save time and money um, by not having to run wires everywhere. And especially when renovating your shutters, that can be a lot of work because you need to run cables to your mains power. And with a solar solution, you can just place your battery where you want and you can place your panel where you want. Normally it comes close to the motor, but there's extension cords that can go up to five meters. So even when you have a, a situation where the panel can better be placed somewhere else, more in the sun than where your roller shutter is, that's something you can solve with a five meter extension cable. So again, looking at the cost, if you look at just the initial purchase price, it's quite a high price. If you look at the complete picture, it's already more favorable towards the solar solution. So in summary, what are the advantages? Well, first of all, you have this feedback in the app and that's really convenient. You can see the battery status, you can easily set on my position, you can see exactly where the roller shutter is positioned, whether it's halfway, whether it's partly opened. So that's a big benefit, but you have to use the Thomas switch for that, of course, because you can't see that sort of thing on a regular remote control. Another advantage, of course, is that it's a solar solution. So even when you don't have power very close to your roller shutter, you can now motorize it easily. Plus you save on electricity costs because of course, um, the sun is powering your motor and charging the battery. So that's another advantage of this set. Now, if you look at the disadvantages, because there are some as well, is first of all, of course, the price. It's uh, relatively high priced, at least in my opinion. So that's something to keep in mind, um, even though when, like I said, if you look at the total cost of insulation and, and those things as well, then of course it becomes more favorable, but still the initial price is fairly high. Next, of course, is the antenna. Um, a lengthy antenna is not something you really want to see. Of course, when you're far away, you don't see it, but when you're up close, it's not the nicest thing to see. So that's, that's a bit, of, bit of a visual disadvantage for using this motor compared to, for example, the RTS solution from Sonfi. A third disadvantage is that there's only a limited range of uh, motors available, especially when it comes to the amount of torque. Uh, Alero, for example, as a competitor, have a 20 Nm uh, motor, and especially with roller shutters, you easily need more than 10 Nm of torque. So something is only limited to six and 10. So if you have large roller shutters, you won't be able to use this motor to motorize your shutters. Now that's it for the motor, but I can imagine you still have any questions um, or you want to know more about IO, uh, solar solutions, etc. You can always send me an email to info at And for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.